QC writes, I was excited to hear about the Gremlins franchise reboot or revival and got to wondering if they will be using puppets for the Gremlins or would they go CGI? I think I'd prefer puppets as they should have done for Yoda in my opinion, but know that they are capable of doing great CGI, Golem for example. What is your opinion on the issue? This is a really yeah. back and forth battle. Amy Rose, you want to start this yeah, one Yeah, I'd love to. So the thing about Golem though is that it was also motion capture technology, which really it's different because it's not just straight CGI creating something that's not there. It's, I mean, Andy Serkis is a master at this, as we know, and I really think that brings a certain level of depth and realism to a character, opposed to just throwing gremlins on the screen that are just running around, or like the chipmunks. Those were creepy. That that was gone <laughs> wrong for me. Um, but I, I really do think, yeah, Yoda should have been a puppet. And the Muppets, I think that's part of why they're so special, is because they're, they're puppets, they're magical, and brings us kind of back to our youth. So I think kind of the answer lies in between. If they did motion capture gremlins, that would be weird. But I definitely think that um, in this case, they should use puppets. It really depends on the context of the shots. For example, like with puppets, back when they did Empire Strikes Back, it was cool to have a puppet going, you will be, rah, 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 and eyes going, <laughs> And mouth that just when it was like that. That was fine at the time, um, but today it's a little bit different. If you have static shots and and you only have a creature that needs to move very minimally and ha not have a lot of action or movement, then I believe you go for the practical effect. You go for the the puppet in in, in many cases. But for movement or action or anything like that, you, more photorealism, you're going to have to go with CGI. So there could be a good balance there. There could be close up shots. Um, more intimate, non-movement shots, you use the practical effects, but then obviously whenever you have, you know, Stripe or Gizmo running around, mm -hmm. then I think you gotta go with, with CGI because things they got away with 20 years ago on screen, I don't think would fly with movie audiences today. So I think you could you could do a balance. Yeah, that's like nostalgic and it's cheesiness. And I think the audiences are, are much more clever and their expectations are much higher nowadays yeah. because of how good special effects are. I just hope they don't change the looks of Gizmo. I love Me Gizmo. Too. It's my favorite. Snuggle. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.